Piedmont Park was opened in the late 19th century, designed and created by Frederick Law Olmsted, the father of modern landscape architecture. His most famous work is Grand Central Park in New York City. He also designed our very own Piedmont Park. However, the original design was never finished. A modernized version has been drawn up and we are here working today with the Piedmont Park Conservancy to finish it, to make Piedmont Park one of the world-class parks. This is way cooler than a video game. If you've watched the news recently, you may have heard about the Pacific Garbage Patch. It is a collection of plastic debris and waste that is hundreds of miles wide out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Hey, I'm Kelsey here with Keller Robotics and we're at Piedmont Park on the lake working on cleaning up some stuff. Let's talk to some controllers. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's up, Kelsey? What are y'all doing? Uh, well, we're testing the uh, control system, uh, trying to make sure it's all going to work. We had a few electrical problems earlier. All the motors uh, were spinning at different speeds. Mm -hmm. So just get that working. We can pick up some trash. That's cool. Y'all getting a lot of trash? Yeah, we're getting a pretty good amount here. Uh, it's all floating in from, from the city. It's a right, pretty bad situation. We need to get it up. Well, what happens if nobody picks it up? Like, where does it go? It's just going to stay here in the lake, and you'll have a trash-filled lake. Uh. Nasty. Well, um, there are two motors on the robot, and if I move these things, the motors can uh, change directions for the robot. I don't so. think you show me. Okay, well, if I go backwards, <laughs> both these go backwards, the machine robot can go backwards. If I go forward, <laughs> the robot can go forward. Oh, that's really neat. So, it's really cool. We actually got a total of 31 things. We um, have only been here for a couple hours. Interesting things that we got were a bathing suit, a diaper. We got plenty of cans and bottles. We got a ton of tennis balls, um, some beer cans, water bottles, a, a variety of different things. Obviously, the debris is causing extreme environmental risks. It's killing the animals that feed off of the sea, so something has to be done. The only question is what and how. Here at Kell Robotics, we've also developed a coloring book for K-12 through to teach kids more about the environment and more about robotics. The main character in our coloring book is Quirky the Robotic Crab. Well, there are plenty of people coming out here. They just sort of look and stare at the robot. They're like, you know, what's that? I mean, it's not something you would normally see uh, out on a lake. Uh, the, you know, we'll explain to them that it's that we're a high school team. You know, a lot of them think we're uh, a college or a, even a professional groups. We'll explain to them we're a high school team. We built this ROV that's meant to go on lakes and pick up the trash. And they'll be like, all right, is it working? And, yeah, we'll, we'll say yes. You know, we got 31 pieces of trash today so far. Paul McCartney is here with the Green Concert in order to help make Piedmont Park one of the most beautiful parks in the world. The crab's name is Corky. He's the main character of the coloring book that I designed for the robotics team. Cool. It's geared to help younger kids relate to the problems around the lakes, like um, pollution and, you know, just general cleaning up after yourself and recycling. Well, in the future, Corky's going to have a few different upgrades. Uh, we're going to have side scan sonar so we can map the bottoms of the lakes and see what we're looking at. Uh, we're going to have solar panels to make it even more eco-friendly. Uh, we'll have uh, an underwater grappling hook uh, so we can get what's down there that we see with the sonar. 
we'll have some different apparatuses to grab stuff off the bank. Well, we've been working on this for about three years now. I'd say in about another year or two, we can probably have all of that stuff on there. Each year, the Cal Robotics team sponsors an art competition for elementary school students. Their challenge is to design a robot that can pick trash up out of the water. The winning design gets a pair of passes to our partner organization, the Georgia Aquarium. Many people really don't know what it's out there for. They just think we're out there driving it around just to have some fun. But when we tell them, they're very interested. We actually have had some people try, try it out and are really interested by it and think it is a phenomenal idea. Basically, the garbage patch is a result of careless littering off of beaches and boats. People don't realize what a gigantic problem their littering contributes to. Man, I love this. This is fantastic. Congratulations. This is really spectacular. Wow. This is, I mean, anybody that ever questions that young people can't change the world, pff, this is it right here. Perfect proof. Congratulations, man. That's great. Marine Biz is our television broadcasting partner. They provide programming that's available to over half the world. We, Kill Robotics, provide them with content about marine sustainability and what kids in FIRST programs are doing to help the environment. Well, I'm just going to, I mean, only thing, the only thing I can think I can say is thank you. This is amazing. Uh, you know, I, I travel all over the world, and I don't think I've ever seen a project quite as ingenious as this, and certainly not with the kind of engineering and robotics that has to go into making this kind of a system work. So I don't even, I wouldn't even know where to start uh, with something like this. But I'll tell you, I've seen projects, you know, with no, with ROVs and, you know, the big sophisticated ones. And uh, uh, to think that you guys have been able to pull this off is, is pretty spectacular. So congratulations. And, Wow, keep it up. It's amazing. Thank you. It has been a very successful day here at Piedmont Park. We collected a ton of trash with our robot as well as had many people come and talk to us about what Kel Robotics consists of. Paul McCartney is now behind us doing a sound check and a ton of people are coming for the concert. If you want to learn more about us, visit kelrobotics.org.